appear to be snowing. I have this fire going right here. It's giving me warmth. Holy crap. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I'm gonna go play outside. So I arrived yesterday to a small mountain village in Tuscany, and this is my first day at the new place. Upon waking up, I discovered that it had snowed two inches in April. I embraced it and made a fire. Sat staring at the flames for a while and then decided to get outside and explore the new town in the snow. I really should have taken an umbrella because everything was starting to melt and I got very wet, but it was beautiful. building fires it's so fun especially inside oh my god i've never had a fireplace before and this is like so exciting i'm gonna do this every day it's so beautiful out here and the birds are chirping and there's no one else here, really. The next day, the snow disappeared and I went exploring nearby and found a beautiful trail about three kilometers long. At the end was a lovely picnic area with a cross and a gorgeous view of all of the neighboring villages and mountains. Perfect. My dear Anna arrived the next day and we had wine and walked around the town center a bit more. The village is small, but it has everything we need. We're so insane. <laughs> what? <laughs> The garden outside of our house has quickly become one of our favorite spots. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And I got them. Looks so pretty. Really? Oh, good. <laughs> and there's a church bell right in front of us that tolls every half hour during the day. And our host dogs, Lucky and Pepe, always keep us company. Oh my god, you're so cute. Pepe. Wow, look at this feast. Oh my goodness. We've quickly become accustomed to daily walks with our host Solange and her sweet dogs and visits to the weekly market to get fresh vegetables and fish. We spend so much time in the garden with the dogs. The sun has gotten so warm recently and it feels like spring is finally truly here. There's so many plants blooming and insects crawling and buzzing around. 
the world feels alive again. God, Bridgerton really got me worried. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, I'm choking down. I've never gotten a bee sting before. Really? No. So you don't even know if you're allergic? I don't know. Life has become slow and easy here in our Tuscan village. We read a lot, watercolor, hang out with the dogs. I really could not ask for more. favorite season and it feels so good to be warm and outside simultaneously. The influx of vitamin D has also been very welcome. Cooking has become one of our favorite activities. Every day we make pastas, salads, oatmeal with fresh fruit. It feels so nourishing to make so much good food for ourselves. We've been slowly getting to know the surrounding nature as well. Our host took us to a spot the other day just to have us smell some fresh spring wildflowers. So beautiful. The next day, Anna and I struck out on our own to do a very steep hike to the top of a nearby mountain. What are we up there? Halfway up. Gotta be more than halfway. <laughs> Don't say that. Almost at the top. is right there. One of my favorite parts of travel is seeing the different wildlife and foliage in the area. Today I spotted a striped butterfly, so many lizards, and loads of new wildflowers. It's so interesting to see what's common in different areas of the world. After a quick snack break, we decided to head back down a different way than we came up. <laughs> Anna and her stick. Yoga is a free destination. All right. Look at that. Oh my. <sighs> wow. I love Just came up houses. on this abandoned house. She's abandoned. She's very abandoned. I'm going to go check it out. Wow. Oh my. 
going in. Whoa. I like this pink color. It's really cute. We climbed the waterfall because, you know, sometimes you just have to do that. Um, we went home a super roundabout way, saw some chickens, walked down the road a little bit, had a great old time. <laughs> Quick stroll through the village, it was straight to the shower and then to a nap. 